So, internet, ready to get talked at about some random stuff for the next, like, three minutes? Well, good, because that's pretty much what today's episode is going to be. Woo! Life unedited, me laddie. So, internet, as I'm sure you've gathered in watching me be me weirdness on the internet for like over a year, I really, really like movies and TVs and books and stuff. And I've talked about that a lot, so I'm really not going to spend a ton of time talking about like specifically what kind of things I like to watch or why I like to watch them now. However, there is one specific aspect of that that I would like to talk about. And that is that in having various discussions with some of me amigos, that's my friends, I'm not entirely certain why I said that in Spanish, I've discovered that I have kind of a different approach to absorbing entertainment, be it books or movies or TVs, whatever, and that is that I like to repeat things. In other words, like watching or reading something just once isn't enough. I will read it again and again and again, or watch it again and again and again, not necessarily right after, but like at some point in my life, I go back and do things over again. And sometimes this is just once or twice or three times, but sometimes, as in certain cases, it's like 19 times. That would be in the case of Aragon, which is pretty much like my favorite book ever. If you haven't read it, seriously, check it out, people. It's good. Now, sure, reading something over again, again 19 times is a little excessive, but I always kind of assume that everyone at least watched or read things a couple times, but in discussing this with my friends I've discovered apparently that's not the case. They typically just like watch a movie one time and then they're good, or they read a book one time and then they're good. And I've been kind of bubbling this around in my mind hole recently and kind of wondering why it is that I like to do things so many times, whereas most people just don't worry about it. And I'm sure at least a small part of it is the fact that I simply like reading or watching things more than the average person, so I have more time time devoted to it, and so sometimes there's just some overlap and some repeat, but there's gotta be something more to it, I think. And at least part of the solution I came up with is that I get so much more out of things, like upon second and third and fourth and eighteenth repeats, or repetitions, that's probably the better word for that. But like, when I experience something for the first time, I'm typically just focused on like, being entertained. I like the story, I laugh along with it, maybe I cry a little bit, I do cry a little bit, there's no maybe about it. But generally speaking, I don't really get in deep or like, appreciate any of the the nuances or like behind the obvious type things. But then as I dive into it more and more and more times, I can push aside all those really like surface level things because I already know everything that happens and I know the characters and I know the events and I can start to pick apart like why are these characters doing these things? Or why do I care so much about this character but not so much about this character? Or maybe this guy's not such a bad guy and maybe he just has like some problems in his past. And I don't know, maybe most books and movies and TV shows and things don't merit that kind of analysis. But I've just always kind of had that kind of analytical mind. Like, literary analysis in my high school English class was one of my favorite things ever, and while most people dread it, I just think it's really cool kind of understanding the more multiple layers to these characters. Even something that's, like, written at a very juvenile level, like most of the books that I read, including Aragon, there's always something more to it, and I really appreciate getting to know these people, and plus, I just like being entertained in such a manner, like I said, and so if I know I'm going to enjoy something, why take a chance on experiencing something new when I could just go back to the timeless classics that I love and I've already read seven times, but who cares? I know for a fact I'll enjoy reading it a seventh time. So maybe that's ultimately the real reason I keep repeating these things over and over again, and that's just I'm comfortable with them. They're like, kind of, not really, but kind of, old friends that I met a long time ago and we got along well the first time, and why would I bother making any new friends when I can just hang out with them? And maybe that's a bad thing because I know I should, like, expand my horizons and all that, but at the same time, it's nice having this, like, good old well-worn, very well-worn, you should see some of my books, well-worn friend that I can rely on. And so there you go, there's my thoughts on that that were kind of long and drawn out. Before I forget, random vocabulary word of the day is defenestration. That's the act of throwing someone out a window, which I just think it's great that there's a word for that. And that's all I've got for you today. Let me know down in the comment section whether you like to repeat things or whether you're more of a one-and-done type fellow. Also, maybe you enjoyed this video a bunch and you want to watch it over again. That would get like super meta. It's probably not worth it. Anyway, until next week. Deuces.